Hey guys and welcome back to my City Builders tutorial session here on YouTube. I'm Ben and well today I want to talk about one specific mod for City Skylines, which is the Realistic Population Revisited mod. Um, I previously installed the, well, I wanted to use this mod and I previously installed it in my Westfield region. Um, because I got the impression that, well, I quickly want to show you that this huge area for a city, um, I was stuck at, well, 58,000 population. Um, so for me, it didn't really make sense. Um, this was way too little for, for this huge area. Um, I think realistically it would house about, well, hmm, maybe something between 200 and 300,000 probably. Um, it's a bit hard to estimate because well, there are loads of residences here and of other buildings as well um, that do have huge um, living spaces like here. Um, so I think originally a house like this would have maybe something like 30 households or so. And this is way too little for such a huge building. It, uh, it doesn't really match the yeah real world circumstances let's say it like that so i tried a couple of mods and i came up with one mod in specific that seemed to work really well for me and this is the realistic population revisited mod um and in my case, I did not only set these or change these settings because those are not the original settings currently. Mm. But I also made sure that I take care of each individual building and so I went into this configuration and yeah, thought about, well, I counted the, the floors, like this one here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I figured out, well, this might be an apartment, this might be an apartment. And yeah, those might be apartments as well. So I would end up with 45 in that case. And I set custom settings for each and every home on my list. Um, I even, yeah, those are some extra lots that I'm using for a Japanese mod that I occasionally use. But even those single homes or like double homes, I reconfigured these as well. And yeah, what I would like to offer to you, and this is something you can actually download from the link included below in the description. Um, there is an XML file that this mod is actually saving for you as soon as you start um, using and setting up this um, oh no yeah there it is so this xml file is used by the mod and this xml file 
saves basically your settings, your individual settings. And if you take a look at it in in what, one of your favorite text editors or code editors, you can see like the settings of power, water, sewage consumption, or production, garbage production, and the wealth, but also um, let me see the the um, residents low like noise settings and the individual values for each tower like household data um, and this is the most important part so you if you install this mod I actually on your own uh, city skylines installation you can download my xml file and work with the settings that i am going for um, in this region and that i'm working with and trying to with kind of because um, some things will definitely change over the course of time because as you can see already these um, huge like commercial buildings they suddenly don't have enough workers to be yeah so that they could exist any further um, but this will change over time for sure I'll just let the game run for a couple of minutes while I'm continuing to explain. There is another thing that's happening and it's about the incoming traffic. Of course, there will be way more than um, you currently might have. You can see it over here. The cars are piling up and this is piling up way beyond my region after a little while you will see it later even here the road into my city is yeah fully packed those parking lots get filled up so a lot of things will be changed will be changing um during the course of time and um but there is one other important thing that will change and this is your um your population level and soon well of course i'm reaching the metropolis but i'm also i will be easily able to fill the megalopolis level uh, really soon and so there is just one challenge you will have to fight with um city skylines um i figured out they have kind of a eight year term where incoming citizens are about today. So whenever eight years pass over here, lots of people will start dying in your city. Um, as a matter of fact, so the lifespan of each citizen is eight play years. And this leads to the fact that when you're increasing your population massively um, by using the the realistic population revisited mod, um, you will have kind of a well a huge loss in citizens in a short amount of time. Um, so the developer of the mod recommends that you only use this mod if you're starting a new city. Um, but I've found an alternative for it and that's something I would like to show you um, in the Steam workshop. Because there is an, a, secondary, a second mod that you could use for that purpose. And it's working really well because it changes the lifespan of your citizens in your town. So it's a little bit easier to yeah, cope with the circumstances that are a result of this mod that I'm using right now. 
So let's quickly jump over to the Steam Workshop and continue working from there. See you in a sec. So back again in the like Steam Workshop of City Skylines, here is the lifecycle rebalance revisited mod 1.5. Um, this is kind, yeah, pretty new, actually updated on the 15th of December 2020. So there have been some updates and I definitely recommend you to um, download this mod as well, playing alongside with the Population Revisited mod, as um, this makes sure that... Um, your citizens um, have a longer lifespan and a more realistic lifespan. So yeah, this is the way to go when you're playing with the realistic population revisited mod. Um, so I'm not yet saving this, um, but I just wanted to let you know that I've included all the links down below in the description. And yeah, I think um, from here you will get, I just let it run for a couple of minutes um, while finishing up. So this, uh, this mod or both of the mods, they give you kind of a more realistic level of citizens in your town. Um, of course, it makes things a bit more difficult in the very beginning. That's something you should um, keep on your mind when you're starting out a new city because um, you are facing or have to face a couple of problems sooner than you usually would have to when you're starting out a new area, a new city. Um, but actually, well, I think it's, for me, the importance is to have a realistic view on the town or the city you're building. So this will for sure pile up to above the 100 citizens um, mark uh, quite soon. Uh, the game doesn't suddenly jump from one end to the next. And yeah, just there we have the same residence. So it houses 76 households. This does actually the same. And I think usually that building would house maybe 20 to 30 households, but not 76. And 76 is way more realistic. It could house even more, but again, here you see it what I did, I counted the balconies and made sure that, well, this kind of reflects the amount of people that could live in, in such a building, such a huge building, even 76 is kind of moderate. But for me, um, it worked quite well that way. So again, please download or feel free to download the XML file uh, link to in the description below of this YouTube video and um, install the mod, overwrite your local file with my XML file um, and then you are, are able to play with the same exact settings that I'm using for Westfield from now on and yeah have fun with playing City Skylines I wish you wonderful holidays for 2020 and yeah, I have a good start in, in the new year in case you um, don't check by within the next couple of days again. Um, I'll continue publishing things until the end of this year. Maybe then I'm taking a day or two off just to make sure to, to get some pause in publishing things here. So thanks again for joining in. I would be 
totally happy if you could subscribe to my channel leave me a like on this video comment below in case you have any recommendations or questions regarding this mod and yeah click that little bell icon just to make sure that you get notified as soon as a new video is published on my channel no matter if it's a tutorial or a let's play session in city skylines thanks a lot for joining in have a good one bye bye